Okay, well, this week in uh, Linux Music One, we're going to look at external sins with Ardor. We're going to be sending it out to Guitar X, and uh, I really don't want to mention that much because that tool by itself is so cool. It deserves, hell, it deserves a half a dozen videos all by itself. So this time, let's just concentrate on on uh, the external send part of Ardor, and we'll uh, look at Guitar X in detail uh, some other day. Okay, this week we're going to look at external sends, and we're going to do this in Ardor. We are just looking at Guitar X, which is a totally fascinating tool in its own right and deserves uh, more attention than we're going to give it in this video, but we'll do that some other day. Uh, to start with, here's a little snippet. Uh, let me clean up a little bit so you don't have to uh, see what I... I've already done and <laughs> Okay, just a little dro dobro intro to uh, Bruce Coburn's Rocket Launcher. Great tune. Uh, so let, let's come up here, and the first thing I'm going to do is add a track. And what we're going to do is we're going to put an external send on my guitar track. Now, see these levels as I talk? We, uh, we also want to go look at the jack connections. But uh, just to further explain, we're going to... Uh, take Rocket Launcher, uh, the track I played on Dobro, do, put it on an external send, run it through Guitar X, and bring it back through Audio One. So let's start by checking our jack connections. Uh, we've got Ardor going into uh, itself, as it always does, into Record My Desktop, that's good, and into the system. Uh, I don't know if we need that. Uh, hell, we'll leave it. Uh, Guitar X, the head amp, is only going into the effects. That's good. Uh, this system is coming in here. And... Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, I am going to... Yeah, I don't want the system going into harder. That's why you were hearing my voice. make levels so now let's take an abbreviated look at this uh, guitar X head amp is going into its effects its effects is going nowhere it should be coming into harder but we'll talk about that in a minute we'll make that happen uh, through the normal mechanisms uh, so let's let's go let's try with this uh, now as I'm talking notice you don't see any levels so let's come up here first to the rocket launcher and let's uh, put in a new external send. And we will send it to uh, Guitar X's head amp out. And this fader, uh, if you remember from our other uh, uh, bus talks uh, this fader will control how much of the signal is going out to guitar X uh, in the meantime let's come over here to audio one and bring in from uh, guitar X so that's now uh, guitar X coming out is going into the input for this track in fact let's uh Let's uh, name that a little better. There we go. And lastly, let's look at our master and make sure that the inputs to the master are just what we want. Uh, we don't want Guitar X coming in directly to the master. We want it coming into our uh, specific track. We have Guitar X, the output of our audio track, and the output of our rocket launcher. Okay, 
everything looks good. Come up here just to be sure. And and I with this hardware thing, I do want to be sure to say that uh, these external sends will also work to your sound card or whatever you need to do. Uh, let's bring up just a brief look at Guitar X. Here's uh, it it models a a rack of an amp and uh, various various effects, and you can have different kinds of amps or many many different plugins. Let's as you can see over here, and this thing is going to be a, a session of its own one of these days, but it's it's new, it's still evolving. Uh, so let's try this. We'll back up. We'll arm this track. Uh, we'll come here so we can manage our fader. We'll see what we get. <laughs> see how that works notice what I did I put this stuff in front of the fader uh, for the main track so that I could drop it way down and you could hear it low uh, in the meantime I could manipulate the little fader with how much signal I'm sending out to uh, the external effects so let's let's look at that some more and I'll play with those buttons so you can hear <laughs> So you see just how that goes. I mean, it's, it's really just that simple. Just like we did with when we were looking at other buses, we come up here to the track that we want to send out. We send it instead of to a, to a bus, we send it to an external send. Uh, remember, the little fader controls that. Uh, in the meantime, after I've gone out through Guitar X, I'm bringing it back into this via the what's the source for this. Uh, I could, if I wanted to, instead of bringing Guitar X or any external sender in, in here into a track, I could skip that and bring it in directly to the master, but I lose a lot of flexibility by doing that. So, so that's not the way we're going to approach this. So let me come over here and click that, delete that region, click that, delete that region, back up, and... Uh, Let's just take this from, from scratch and play with it a little bit. Come up here to this. So there you go. That's it for this week. Uh, external sends, ardor, a uh, little brief look, uh, hopefully enough to whet your appetite with Guitar X. I hope that you'll uh, uh, try your external sends with ardor, and I hope that you'll uh, take it, take a look at this Guitar X. It's fascinating. Uh, and and in there, if you go to their site when you download it, uh, there's a little wiki there that'll uh, talk about how to get some good tone and and play with things you can sound like pretty much anybody you want to. Uh, so that's it. Have a blast. I'll see you next week. Okay, well, that's it for this week. As always, if your stuff doesn't look like my stuff, uh, check your versions first and then get on these websites, get involved. I urge you to uh, take a Take a good look at Guitar X if you're a guitar player or if you're anything. The effects will work on any audio signal coming in. So, uh, otherwise, I'll see you next week.